After completing your year-end close and before inputting your first payroll for the new year, you must install the payroll tax tables for the new year. You will receive a notice when the tax tables are available. The payroll tax tables updates are provided by SAGE to all customers on an active business care plan for the supported software versions. Or you can always check SAGE City to find the tax table updates. Many states do not report their changes until late in the year. The tax table update posts on the SAGE webpage for you to download. As tax changes are received from the various government entities, the tax tables will be revised on the website. You should check at the end of January to verify you have the most updated version. If changes are received throughout the year, subsequent tax table updates will be released and you can always check the SAGE website. So here's an example of going on to the knowledge base and you can see there's a download for the tax table. And here you can see an example of the tax table update. You'll notice that there are instructions on how to install the tax table update and there's a download button for you to download them. Also notice that there is related information. So if there were tax table changes that happen periodically throughout the year, you would be able to find that here. Now you need to be aware, tax tables are system wide, they're not company specific. So if you delete a tax code or filing status for one company, it affects all companies. So proceed with caution. Now you can verify that the tax table installed successfully by running the installed modules listing in Library Master and check the release date. It will show the tax tables installed and here you see an example. Now there may be times that you're going to need to verify information. Now on your federal information, you probably don't need to do anything here because your accrual accounts are going to come over, your tax ID is going to come over. What you're going to see change with the tax table updates are any rates or limits. So for example, if the FICA limit had changed, you would already see that reflected here. And that's going to control how the deduction is going to be calculated. Now, not everything is supplied by SAGE. Those things that are company specific, you're going to need to manual update. So your employer state disability insurance, your employer state unemployment insurance, your employer unemployment state tax, and any local taxes. So make sure you've got that available as well. Now you can go to the various entities that you're responsible for, and they will give you the information that's current as far as employee taxes. So what if you need to change it? And this is going to be on your state level and or your local level. You'll need to go into the payroll tax table maintenance, identify the state or if you're set up for local entities, and we'll talk more about that here shortly. So here, if I had a new rate on my California state, I would need to come in and put that in here. Now, one of the things that you'll need to do as far as your local tax, if you have any, is actually configure how that calculation needs to be made. And you'll notice on this screen near the bottom, there is something called tax calculation steps. The tax calculation steps for your federal and state taxes are already taken care of. You only need to worry about this if you're doing local taxes. And again, you can go on to the local entity's website and find out how the calculation needs to be configured. There's great help in the system that tells you what all these different numbers are, and then you'll just go into the edit steps and configure it as that local entity has prescribed. So now, you're ready to do your new payroll and you're ready to close the year. So what are your steps in order to do that? Now first thing, you want to back up the payroll and you'll use your copy company functionality to do that. The next thing is you want to close the year and you're going to run your W-2s and your quarterly reports. You're going to reconcile your quarterly and annual tax reports. If you make any changes, Based on that reconciliation, you need to back up the payroll again, and then you're going to run period and processing. After running period and processing, you're going to install your tax table update. You're not going to manually enter. You could, but you're not going to do that. So you're going to install the tax table updates. Then you'll make any rate changes. So you may need to manually enter your local, as I said previously, but you're not going to need to do anything on the state and federal level. So you make those rate changes if applicable, and now you're ready to run the first payroll of the year.